Well, by now you might have heard about so masks for Cincy. They're making coverware, if you will, for the industry standard N95 mask. That's what offers medical workers on the front lines protection from COVID-19. But mask makers are popping up all over, which raises a question. Can just the basic surgical mask help in these viral times? It is 2020's take on Rosie the Riveter. Betty Matalionis is spending her stay-at-home time sewing away, making a home version of basic surgical masks. For safety's sake, her son shot this video and an interview with the senior citizen. Well, I hope making a few masks will benefit wherever they get distributed to, to help prevent the spread of the disease. She is, of course, talking about COVID-19. We wondered how much protection one of these offers to an average Joe who wants to wear one. Dr. Carl Fichtenbaum says if you're sick. It's a way of controlling what you are producing, and that may be helpful. But if you're completely healthy and you're going out in public and you're wearing a mask, it may not be providing you the protection that you really Think you need. He says masks should not replace good hand washing and social distancing, but is something better than nothing? Without proper testing, we just don't know how well they're going to work to protect people. Dr. Barry Went agrees they are not perfect. However, I think something to keep the viral particles down is better than nothing. He also says if the hand sewn masks mean people do not use up what doctors need, the N95, that's a good thing. The, my name's on it because we're reusing these because we have to right now. We have to conserve masks. Our own Jennifer Ketchmark is on that N95 conservation effort. And I'm one of thousands of local sewers. So thank you to everybody out there who is doing their part. She's working with Sew Masks for Cincy, which is making covers for the N95s so doctors and nurses in the coronavirus response can stretch how long they wear one life-protecting mask. It's a great community spirit. <laughs> it is great community spirit. This is really people giving of their time and their treasure. Jen told me she's already sewn 20 hours worth of masks. Some will be going to a nursing home where employees say they'll layer them over the standard basic surgical mask for added protection.